Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is actually the first day of my last ever appointment in medical school. So we started our pediatrics professorial appointment today um, after a short break due to COVID. Actually, it wasn't a short break. It was. It took quite a while to start back, but of course, it's not the same as it was before COVID. Part of it is done online, and part of it is done at the hospital. Um, we'll of course be taking turns going to the hospital as an online class for us. I don't know how I feel about all this. I'm super excited to be done with this degree. But also, I feel like I'm not ready for my final exams. But then again, I don't think I'll ever be ready. So, you just gotta roll with it and study and get stuff done. Um, we discussed what's called a long case, which is something that you would get in the exam, like a real patient that you are supposed to take history, examine, then, go on to a panel of examiners and discuss about the management investigations that you would do pretty much what you would do if you were the doctor basically mm -hmm. and what I realized is I have a lot of things that I need to go back and, and refer because it's been a while since we did our last pediatrics yeah, appointment I've forgotten some of the things actually most of the things I feel like but it's okay we we'll somehow manage it we'll somehow do it so thanks to the classes we had it was a productive day so far it's around Five, I want to say, five in the afternoon. Now I have to study the topic we did and maybe even do some questions. Well, I'm gonna go do that and I'll catch you guys afterwards. So, just take a look at this mess, guys. So it's Tuesday, um, we just finished the case discussion, um, I'm feeling really tired and as you can see I haven't gotten much sleep because I still struggle with falling asleep in the night, um, I should do something about it because now that we have classes I can't sleep in so I need to somehow force myself to go to bed early the problem is i'm such a night owl i naturally tend to work better during the night i guess i'm some nocturnal being like a vampire so i have a lot of stuff to do today some of the stuff that i couldn't finish yesterday and things that i have planned for today so hopefully i can finish it all but i feel like i need a nap so I think I'm gonna take a nap right now, even though it's like 12 p.m. Uh, what can others say about that? Is your presenting complaint? Huh? Where's the monitor? Why are you being 
so I'm sorry the lighting here is horrible it's so now around 10 p.m. I didn't film anything I did in the afternoon because I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing me just sit down somewhere and study it was a good day overall I just took a shower like a warm shower so I feel good and did my nighttime skincare my skin's looking all glowy um now I'm gonna go to bed but actually I'm gonna watch a movie so that I can just relax and de-stress because I've been super stressed all these days so I'll see you guys tomorrow get this one I wish I could do the same thing Right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were both To just fly away I don't wanna care It's being I'm good alone I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend Too scared now, thinking I should call up I think it's hard how we always wait another day How we watch things the kids walk away Let's live down by the water Watch you come and go home Always feel bold To like say How do you feel about having to do an exam right now?
<laughs> if you're wondering why there are so many clothes on the bed it's because it's been raining like mad and i'm trying to dry them on my bed so i don't think i really explained what happened the last couple of days so i was super tired but you know i've been struggling with falling asleep because i am i don't know for some reason i can't fall asleep so the moment i got home from the hospital i just crashed and just passed out i was super tired and when i woke up i had millions of things to do so i didn't have any motivation to pick up the camera and vlog we also had an exam on friday i mean not an official exam but it still felt like a real exam and i of course couldn't study for that because of what i told you i've been feeling really off and tired so yeah that was that was really hard and i did not do that well at all uh, so that's a bit disappointing especially yeah i have a lot of things that i should catch up on my life is like a crazy mess right now because of exam and the amount of things i have to do within a day the volume is just so much so yeah i struggle a lot with that and most of the time i don't even have the motivation to vlog so i'm sorry if i go in my a for a few weeks because because i really need to focus on my exam and study and sometimes it's super hard to find time to vlog and to edit but i have to say this some of you guys just leave the most sweetest comments under my videos i'm sorry if i don't mention all your names but i know for sure yalini always leaves a comment and then there's rashmi and so many others honestly thank you so much for that guys you guys are so cute honestly you guys spoil me i swear if i have a bad day and i read your comments i get cheered up almost immediately because i mean i can't believe that there are actual people watching my videos actually enjoying those um how lucky am i right because you all are so sweet it just motivates me to keep going and keep making videos i know i'm helping at least a few of you out there and honestly i couldn't have wished for anything better for this channel i want to be 100% real i want to keep this channel 100% real and authentic and genuine i mean i'm not perfect and i'm probably not your typical medical student but i think one of the messages that i want to put out there is that you definitely don't have to be like everyone else or what someone thinks a medical student should be to actually do well in medical school and it's totally fine to enjoy other things as well i rarely get a few bad comments but it really doesn't bother me because i know there are very judgmental people out there very narrow minded people out there but overall the support i've gotten is not something that i definitely expected making this channel and i still can't believe that i'm actually doing this and anyways i just wanted to say thank you we also hit 1k subscribers a couple of weeks back i was actually planning on doing something fun for that like maybe bake myself a cake or maybe get some helium balloons with 1k or do something crazy but well life got in the way and i think we were under lockdown at that time i just want you guys to know that it's not just numbers for me i realized that these are real people who actually clicked on the subscribe button because they think my videos are worth watching and they really give some of their precious time to my channel yeah thank you so 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 much i guess that's it for this video if you enjoyed this please give this video a thumbs up and if you still haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe i will see you guys in my next vlog love you bye